the first goal was so obviously huge for our team, and we had some good chances early in the game. But but you know it's it's hard to, to score in playoffs. But we just stick with it and got some more chances, and and finally went in and and we got uh, a start head start to to our game, and we're able to show the way, way. So that was that was good by our line. Uh, Sasha, Sammy leaves the game, and Kyle comes onto your line. And how did that whole play develop? And and just how proud of the fact that just all postseason long, you just continue to to really deliver for this team. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, losing Rhino is not not the not the best thing. But uh, Oki, he's just been unreal for us ever since he came. Uh, he's a he's a leader, like natural re- leader, off ice on ice. So. He's always ready, and you can see like he didn't play much in the in the regular season, but now he jumped in in the playoffs, and he's playing playoff hockey, uh, leading the way, uh, playing hard. So it was it was nice nice to play with him. For both of you guys, just we talk so much about just how big Bob has been for you guys. Regular season playoffs hasn't really been tested much the last few games. I think it's twenty less than twenty shots the last three. Just knowing that he's having these long gaps in between time, but knowing he's still going to come up clutch, how big is that? To have a goalie who's able to stay mentally focused when there's not as much action coming his way. Yeah, I think like staying mentally focused is uh, when you think about that. Those words you think about Sergei Bobrovsky right away. Like he's mentally focused, he's prepared, he's ready whenever. So he's huge for us. He's our best player, and he d- delivers every every single night. He gives us a chance to win. Yeah, I mean he said pretty much everything I was gonna say. So uh, I mean. We trust in Bob. You know, he he's always ready. Uh, we don't have to worry about him. He he worries about himself. Sasha, just a- after the first period, it's two nothing. A uh, little hostile environment here. How, how do you guys kind of handle that and kind of push your way back into this game? And it seems like you don't don't seem to be bothered playing by this building. You won five straight games here, playoffs. Yeah, I mean, of course they they got a good start. They scored a couple of goals, and this is a tough building to play in, but. Uh, we just stick with it. We like how we played in the first period, even though they, they had two goals. But uh, we like our chances. We just kept going, kept pushing and uh, getting better. And then obviously Landis, Landis line took over, got us got us uh, going with the goal. And uh, we just believed in each other. Barky, I know I'm putting you on the spot here because he's right next to you, but you've watched Lundy grow a lot over the past couple of years. I mean, what has kind of gone into that development that he's gone to to the point where he's he's been an impact player over the past uh, few games in this series? Uh, I mean, I've said a lot of good things about Lundy previously, so uh, everything everything same. Like he's hard hardworking kid. Uh, you you would not think he's he's that young when with his approach to, to professional hockey and being a, being, being a professional in this league, like he's, he's working really hard and wants to learn, uh, every day, something all the time, something he's asking questions, stupid questions, good questions. It doesn't matter. He's asking questions. He wants to learn. So that's, that's great. So I can, I don't think you guys have time, enough time for me to just sit here and talk good things about him. Uh, so, Sasha, um, and, and for both of you, what was the chatter on the bench during the uh, during the review? Did, like after getting a look at the replay, was there concern that that would be overturned? And, and can you both speak to just what Sam Bennett's impact has already been on this series? Obviously, controversial goal, controversial hit last game, and clearly uh, the Bruins have the emotions high with him. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, Ben is huge for us. You know, he's. He's been one of the the leaders in this team for for the last years, and and he's he's doing everything he can, shift after shift, and just he's he's hard to play against. He's he's great to have on your team uh, instead of the other team. So it's huge to have him back, and uh, the impact is is helping us. It's, it's been huge, and and obviously it was it was tough to see uh, when he wasn't playing, but we're happy to have him back. Yeah, he's a pretty much like identity player for us. He leads the way. He leads by example, and everyone follows. He always plays hard. That's the best part of him. Sasha, in the third period, you guys only let up two shots on goal, eight shot attempts. You guys were obviously so good at closing out games in the regular season. What is it about this team that makes you guys so good in the situations where when you get a lead or it's late in the game, you just end up giving the opposition really not much to work with? 
uh, I think the score of the game, obviously, we were down one, so we, we, we wanted to score one. We wanted to play the right way, though, so uh, we tried to spend as much time as possible in their zone and put a lot of pucks at the net. And uh, Offense is the best defense, obviously, so I think we did a good job with that. Sasha, to, uh, okay. to follow up on Mike's question, when you guys were watching that replay on the Coach's Challenge, I mean, you've been in a lot of situations like this. Did you think that goal was going to stand? Uh, yeah, we, we were confident. I know it's you, they reviewed it, so, well, it, they counted it, so we're good with that.